In this video, we'll show how to use Google Sites as a student, so how to create and publish your own Google Site. So there are two ways that you can create a Google Site from Google, so clicking on the Apps Cube and clicking on the Sites homepage, or opening up Google Drive, and then clicking on the New button, then More, and then choosing Google Sites. That way you can organize it in your Google Drive. So once you have a new Google site open, the first thing you'll probably want to do is set a theme. So clicking on themes in the right side, you can scroll through and click on the different themes and choose which one you would like for your website. Each of these themes, you can change the background image in the header, you can change the font, and you can change the color. So um, just kind of pay attention to the overall style, and then you can customize it from there. So we'll choose one, set our color, and change the font, and then this is the one that we'll go with. Next, we'll go to the Pages section. So we have our home page and we can edit um, the header here to fit a home page. And then we can add a couple pages to our website with that plus sign in the lower right um, now that we're in the pages section. So we'll add an about page and click done. And then we can use that plus sign again. We'll add a portfolio page where we can add content um, to keep track of documents over the year. So you can add new pages using that plus sign in the lower right in the pages section. To change the name of any of these pages, you'll need to click on those three dots and then select properties to change the page name. Um, if you change the header title, it won't reflect on the actual um, web page name. So you can see I changed about me, but it didn't reflect over on the page. So you'll need to click on those three dots over on the right to change the page name. You can also add sub pages by clicking on those three dots. So now on the insert section, this is where you can actually add content to your website. The layouts are really great um, to keep your website organized and visually um, engaging. So you can click on that plus sign and embed lots of great content. You can upload, select images, or bring in a YouTube video. So we're gonna go grab a YouTube uh, link and paste that here so that we can um, select this and insert it into this section in our layout on our about page. And then that would be able to be played directly in our website. Then you can um, add that content over here on the right directly from that layout. So it's already formatted for us. And you can just fill in those spaces based on that layout. You can edit all of this content. So change the fonts and the formatting using all of um, those options in the toolbar. You can also edit um, the section backgrounds and you can delete any of these um, pieces as well. So we're gonna move over to the portfolio section and use a different layout. And so again, clicking on the plus sign, you can add things from um, your drive or upload. We'll just uh, set these up like they would be entries in a portfolio. You can add multiple layouts to your page. Again, clicking on that plus sign, you can add things directly from your drive. So these could be images, they could be Google Docs, Google Slides, um, and be able to quickly insert things directly from your drive. You wanna make sure that the share settings are open to anyone with the link um, before you add them to your website so that when people go to your website, they'll be able to see the things on your page. So again, you can click on the trash can to remove anything. You can drag and drop things. So I've just added a divider um, over on the right side and then I am dragging it around. Um, and so you can drag and drop anything when you insert it onto your website. So any of these entries, I would be able to drag those around and move them to a new location. And over on the right, there's lots of other things that I can insert directly into my website, but the layouts are really nice to keep my website organized. Like I mentioned in the theme, you can also change that background picture. So I can click change image. I can upload a picture I've saved. I can select an image from Google 
or I can click on the search and search directly in Google image search. I can upload an image from my Google Drive so I can change those background images in the header um, to fit my website. I can also preview what my website looks like by clicking on the preview button in the upper right and I can see it on a computer, also on a tablet or even a phone. So this is what it looks like on a mobile device and then I can click that blue X to change it back to the actual editing view. So if I want to see what my website looks like, I can click that preview button right next to the undo and redo buttons. Then when I'm ready to publish, I can click on the share button to make sure that my publish settings are correct. So right now it is set to publish just for people in the district. I can set it to restricted if I want it just to be shared with um, people in my class or my teacher. If I want it to be a public website, I can set it to be public, but most likely it should just be set for in the district. Then when I am ready to actually publish, I would click the publish button in the upper right. It will bring up a new window that will show the changes that have happened since the last time I clicked publish. And then I just click publish again and I'm ready to go. I will have to give my website a name first. Right now I don't have a name for my website. And then after any changes that I make to my website, I will need to click that publish button each time. And that's how you create and publish a website using Google Sites.